Okay. It's kind of a special moment, really. Like almost 16 years ago, I was, I was almost killed out, out just outside the front gate here. I came running out of here. Um, Cantorini's men were coming down this street. I was trying to get back across the road to my uh, desk, which was just up in that corner there of Diaz Pascali, to report there was a raid going on. And uh, I was intercepted by Cantorini's front rank. Um, by the zebra crossing here and uh, there were three attacks on me over the space of 15 minutes I was put into a coma I was arrested um, uh, you know only it was just a, a nightmare from start to finish for the first time uh, you know they're getting to hear the, the actual facts of what happened here that night and it has been one of my wishes to actually, like, you know, speak with some of the children. Instead of asking for identification and possibly arresting me, these riot police broke the law and had attempted to kill me. I remember, I thought, this is it, I'm going to die. My case, since the beginning, was treated as attempted murder for the level of violence that occurred in the beating. However, the case was archived in February of 2013 due to lack of evidence as it was impossible to identify the policemen involved despite having a video showing <coughs> what unit they were from. I still feel as like I'm there almost 16 years ago, it's like it's happening now. It's hard to believe this place is so peaceful now. You know, compared to like what it was like that night. I've got a lot of memories. It's hard. It's good that I'm, I meet these children and uh, you know, tell them what really happened here at this school because it's important that they know um, and also to understand the value of human rights um, because like, uh, you know, I, I lost all my rights here that night. They were completely denied of me you know, by the Italian state and the Italian police and still they have not learned their lesson. There's been no reforms of uh, training as such. Um, there is still a, a very big um, gap of understanding between you know, the victims and the Italian police force. The Italian police force still maintain their position that uh, the raid was justified and what they did to us was justified. There are many reasons why the vicenda di Genova non si è chiusa e non solo perché mancano gli strumenti come il reato di tortura ma perché appunto eh, nessuno ci ha spiegato esattamente chi fosse il blocco nero se ci fosse una regia internazionale di intelligence giustizia sarà veramente fatta quando avremo le risposte a queste domande che sono importanti